I'm so glad you're having such a great time at my beach house, Jesse. We sure are, Dr. Turtleman, and thanks for house swapping with me and Squeaks for the weekend. This was such a great idea. We get to relax in the sun, and we get to learn all about animals that live in the ocean. Don't forget to say hi to some of the sea turtles for me. I love those guys. Sounds good, and thanks for holding down the fort. Bye. Oh, hello, I'm Dr. Lawrence Turtleman. As you just heard, I'm staying here at the fort while Jesse and Squeaks are at the beach. So I guess that kind of makes me the host of SciShow Kids this week. And you're in luck, because not only am I a turtle, I'm also the foremost expert on turtle facts. So let's dive in. Did you know that there are over 200 types of turtle? They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and colors. And they can have big domed shells with neat patterns like the Eastern box turtle, or like the flat back sea turtle, they can have shells with, you guessed it, flat backs. Some turtles are enormous. For instance, the leatherback sea turtle can grow up to two meters long, which is longer than I am tall. They can also weigh up to 900 kilograms, which is about as much as a very big cow, and swim as deep as 1,200 meters underwater. It's actually the largest living reptile. Those are animals with scaly skins like lizards, snakes, and crocodiles, and turtles. Whereas the speckled padloper tortoise is teeny tiny and only about eight centimeters long. But what is a tortoise anyway? Well, a tortoise is a type of turtle, but when most people say tortoise, they mean a turtle that spends its whole life living on land. And when we say turtle, we usually mean the kind of turtle that spends at least some of its time in water, not a tortoise. So if we're looking at a turtle, how do we know if it's a tortoise sort of turtle? Well, you can look at the feet. Tortoises have what we call columnar feet, which means that they're built like a cylinder or a column, sort of like an elephant foot. But turtles that spend their time in water have webbed feet to help them swim. And sea turtles, which spend almost their whole lives in the water, have flippers. Many turtles have a flat shell that helps them move more easily through the water, but tortoises, who spend their lives on land, have big, hard, dome-shaped shells that make it harder for other animals to eat them. Tortoises can live to be extremely old, sometimes well over 100 years. In fact, the oldest animal living on land right now happens to be a very good friend of mine. He's a tortoise named Jonathan, and he lives on the island of St. Helena. Scientists think he might be 185 years old. That's way older than the oldest living human. Turtles can come in so many different forms that you can find them all over the world in almost every kind of weather. Remember those giant leatherback sea turtles? They can live in colder waters than most sea turtles, so you'll find them closer to the North and South Poles than any other turtles. Turtles really get around. About 50 years ago, a pair of Russian tortoises were even sent into space and became some of the first living animals to go around the moon. They survived the trip and went back to their usual lives. So turtles are pretty hardy. No wonder they've been around since before the dinosaurs. But they need humans' help to survive. Fishing, pollution, and other ways humans affect the places where turtles live can hurt them. That's why people are working to help keep turtles safe by doing things like hanging lights from their fishing nets so turtles can avoid the nets instead of getting tangled up in them. And what about turtles living with humans? Well, keeping a turtle around can be a lot of work. For one thing, turtles can be really messy. I mean, I try to remember to put all my turtle toys away and wash my turtle dishes, but sometimes I forget. Some types of turtles can grow to be really big, and they need a lot of space to swim and walk around and even more space as they grow bigger. And since turtles live so long, you're gonna need to be responsible for it for a long time. But if you really, really want a turtle at home, the best way to get one is to adopt one from a local shelter, not out from the wild. Some turtles can carry diseases that can make them dangerous to people, and a lot of turtles are pretty unfriendly. It's much safer for you and for the turtle to keep a turtle that's used to living near people. That way, you can make sure that you give it everything it needs to stay happy. And who doesn't love a happy turtle? I know I do. Thanks for joining me. If you want to keep learning and having fun here at the fort, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to check us out on the YouTube Kids app. We'll see you next time.